The City of Bend is a beautiful place to live, work, and play. We appreciate your help in keeping our roadways well-kept and litter-free. The Bend Beautification Program is sponsored by the City of Bend, and we would like to thank you for your valuable efforts. Your application has been approved and you are ready to get started. But beautification efforts can expose volunteers to traffic along roadways as well as other hazards. We want to help make your cleanup as safe and rewarding an experience as possible. This video will help instruct you on the proper way to protect yourself. Plan ahead. Contact the program staff at least two weeks in advance of your cleanup day to make sure safety kits are available for your group. Then a day or two before your scheduled cleanup date, go to the public workshops and pick up the safety kit reserved for your group. The public workshops is located at 575 Northeast 15th Street. Each safety kit includes supplies for 10 volunteers. These supplies include safety vests. Be sure to wear these vests at all times when you are on a cleanup. Gloves. These do not need to be returned. First aid kit. Volunteer crew ahead sign. And of course, litter bags. There will also be two or three pickup sticks and a pruning device in each kit. Volunteers may want to bring their own tools to augment their supply. Remember, only those volunteers who are trained and experienced should be handling gardening tools. Tools should always be handled only by adults, with caution, and always according to manufacturer's recommendations. It's also important for volunteers to wear appropriate clothing. Sturdy shoes or boots. No sandals or flip-flops, please. A long sleeve shirt and long pants. Light-colored clothing can also increase your visibility. Other helpful items to bring along are a cell phone and work gloves. And those items that can help protect you from the sun, like sunscreen, a hat, and sunglasses. And bring along plenty of water to drink. Avoid overexertion and overheating by drinking plenty of water and taking breaks in the shade. Cleanup activities should only be performed during daylight hours and when weather conditions are safe and conducive to good visibility. If it's rainy, snowy, icy, or foggy, do not clean your road. Instead, call the program staff and reschedule your cleanup. Also, avoid peak traffic hours and stay clear of all construction areas. It's a good idea for group leaders to walk or drive the route in advance. Note the condition of the road and any spots that need extra cleanup attention or should be avoided by volunteers. Like steep embankments, areas with blind curves and narrow shoulders, or places where hazardous materials may have been dumped. Before every cleanup, all volunteers must review the Bend Beautification Program safety rules and then sign the informed consent release form. Be sure you make your leader aware of any conditions that you feel they need to know about to keep you safe, such as allergies. We welcome volunteers under 18 years of age if prior approval has been granted during the application process and only in areas pre-approved by program staff. All minors must have a parent or guardian fill out a minor participation form and give it to the group leader before their first cleanup event. And one supervising adult must be present for every four minors during the cleanup events. If you have any questions about participation of minors, contact the program staff to check. Meet in an off-site location to allow all volunteers to review the safety procedures and sign release forms. Once everyone has their safety gear, carpool out to the site to minimize the number of cars on the roadside. Park all vehicles in legal parking spaces, or pull your vehicle far off the roadway in a safe, visible area. Be seen. Place the warning sign facing approaching traffic. Use the program sign placement card in the safety kit to determine your buffer distance. If you have any questions about setting up your warning sign, 
Contact program staff before you start your cleanup. Clean only one side of the street at a time and walk facing oncoming traffic. Walk in groups to increase visibility. Never assume a driver sees you. Wear a safety vest at all times when on a clean. Be careful. Always keep safety in mind. Never enter the roadway to pick up trash. Be prepared for any unexpected behavior of motorists. Don't distract drivers by waving to them or engaging in horseplay. Keep your attention focused on your job and the environment around you. It's important to be able to hear others in your group and approaching traffic, so leave all portable music players at home. Please, no alcoholic beverages before or during your cleanup. Also, be sure you are not under the influence of any medication that could diminish safe judgment or abilities. If it's unknown, leave it alone. Don't pick up hazardous materials such as car batteries, petroleum products or other chemicals, heavy or unwieldy objects, dead animals, needles and drug paraphernalia, or any unidentified questionable item. If you find any suspicious items, our primary concern is your safety. Stay away from the items and make sure everyone in your group stays away from them too. If the materials are an immediate concern, contact Public Works at 317-3000 or call 911. The most important thing to remember if you are in doubt about something you find on a cleanup site, if it's unknown, leave it alone. You can't go wrong by playing it safe. If you have any concerns, do not touch the material. Instead, leave the area and call 911 to report the problem. Use only the provided trash bags. Don't overfill the bags. Keep the weight to no more than 15 to 20 pounds. Tie the bags to keep them closed and be sure no objects are protruding from them. Pile full litter bags in visible areas well off the traveled portion of the street, bike lanes, and sidewalks. Pile other debris that doesn't fit into the trash bags in a visible spot off the roadway. Flag the location of any items that are too heavy or bulky to move, like appliances, mattresses, or tires. If they are not readily visible from the street, be sure they are noted in the cleanup completion form. That way crews can find them and dispose of them properly. The safety kits must be returned to the public works shop within two business days after the cleanup. There are a number of kits that are shared with every group in the city, so please don't keep them longer than necessary. After the cleanup, be sure to fill out a completion form and send it to the Bend Beautification Program staff, along with the volunteer consent release forms. Plan ahead. Contact the Bend Beautification Program staff at least two weeks in advance to schedule a cleanup and reserve the correct number of safety kits for your group. Remember to think safety first. Watch the weather. Only conduct your cleanup in good weather conditions. Be seen. Wear the safety vests and gloves provided in the safety kit. Carpool to the site. Park only in legal spaces out of bike and travel lanes. Clean up only on your approved route. Use traffic warning signs provided. Stay off the shoulder and do not enter the street. Work on only one side of the road at a time. Walk in groups facing traffic. No horseplay, headphones, or alcohol. If it's unknown, leave it alone. If you find a potentially hazardous substance, leave it alone and call Public Works at 317-3000 or dial 911. We appreciate your hard work. Your contribution as a volunteer makes the City of Bend a better place to live. Stay alert, think safety first, and you'll have a successful cleanup. You do make a difference.